Hello everybody, welcome back. This is round two. We are drafting Shadows over Innistrad and we have a black red vampire madness deck. This hand is good. We are gonna keep it. We can curve out Olivia's Bloodsworn into Vampire Mas- oh, not Vampire Masquerade, Stuncia Masquerade. Alright, ooh, Falkrath Gorger. That was a pretty good draw. So let's go to one. Get in there, my friend. Do your thing. Oh, that's funny. I've never seen this in play, so this is what it looks like. It just says Madness and it's casting cost. So Vampire- Falkrath Gorger will make it so that each of our vampires that are not on the battlefield have madness. So, more curd necropod. This could have otherwise been skelly. So let's play a swamp here. Olivia's Bloodsworn won't be able to attack this turn, so let's just attack with Falkrath Gorger here. We're playing against another white-blue opponent. Let's go. Olivia's Bloodsworn passed to our opponent. Now, the nice thing, too, is that these two are both vampires, as opposed to... Wow, Stensia Masquerade is going to be amazing here. So let's go Stensia Masquerade. Attack with all of our creatures, and our creatures now have first strike, so this Nibbleus of Dusk will do nothing. But we get all these triggers, and our vampires get counters. So they're both three twos. This is going swimmingly. And this is one of those situations where I was talking about earlier where Stensia Masquerade is when you get off to a quick start and you have a lot of creatures out in play, you just run away with a game like this, but sometimes if you're behind you just draw Stensia Masquerade and you're like, oh god, why? <laughs> Let's see, so our opponent plays Island, press for answers. Okay, so they get to or Falconrath Gorger and it won't be able to attack next turn. That's good for them. I'm guessing they still attack here, yes, because they're not really gonna block this. Um, can't really cast Fiery Temper here. Can't really cast anything here. We could Murderous Compulsion this Nibbleus of Dusk, but we're not really worried about it. It's not, it's not an active concern of mine, so I think here... I'm just going to attack with Olivia's Bloodsworn. Hopefully this doesn't get bounced. It kind of seems like our opponent has a bounce spell here. They could also just be waiting to crack the clue. Cool. Let's always yield to this. Our Olivia's Bloodsworn is now 4-3. Uh, yeah, I'm not compelled to compulsion him. They crack a clue. Alrighty. We draw land next turn, we'll be able to play the Twins of Moror Estate, which is going to be a 3-5 with, uh, oh man, the New Heath Chaplain. Interesting. Alright. Ooh. Spicy, spicy. So if we play Call the Bloodline, discard, and fiery temper away the Near Heath Chaplain, they won't get any life, and then we get to attack with both these creatures and hit him for a ton? And then they'll be able to flashback this, but their 1-1s aren't going to be good enough. So let's go call the bloodline here. And then at a further point in time, we'll be able to um, drop the Twins of Moral Estate. Though the game might not be going on at the time that this happens. So let's discard Fiery Temper. So we madness Fiery Temper. I would like to cast it. Targeting near his Chaplain. Paying one red. Let's attack with everybody. So yeah, this will exile for three and mate to two spirits, which at this point are just going to be chumpers. The nibble is chump this turn, it seems. That's okay. Yeah, and our opponent conceded. It was going to be very difficult for them to come back from that one. So let's go to sideboarding. We saw a Nibbles of Dust, Press for Answers, and Near Hith Chaplain. Uh, it looks like Dual Shot is probably pretty good against this opponent. We saw at least two very good targets, and... Um, Nibbleus and oh, you have Chaplin also makes uh, one ones, so being able to kill those would be nice. 
Mm, reducing to ashes and near his chaplain is nice because then they don't get to flashback it, but... Nah, it's not good enough that I want to bring it in. Let's see, do I want any of these? Chasm doesn't seem very good. Mm, none of these. I don't think I want any of these. I don't think I want the village messenger. So now let's just make a cut for that dual shot that we're bringing in. Maybe we'll take out... Eight Twins of Mara Estate. Same thing I boarded out last time. Yeah, I mean, just having that many twins doesn't- it's not great. But I'm okay keeping this more card Necropod. So, let's send it in. Let's take a look. So who did we play in round one? Let's look at past rounds real quick. We played a Kenny, I think. Mm, this hand is a little worse. We do have Fiery Temper to kill something of theirs, Neville Darren Duelist. Hand's not great, but I think we can keep it. It's certainly a lot slower. We have a more card necropod for like way late in the game. I think this is a hand that we accept, but we're not happy about. Great draw for us. So let's play a mountain and pass. We can play a swamp here and pass again. Next turn we will be breaking some necks. Or maybe not because that's pretty savage. Ooh, Jeskai. Spectral Shepherd, sure. Skin Invasion. Alright, that might do some work later. We can play Breakneck Rider for now. We play Stone Quarry. I'm guessing they're just gonna attack here. Sure thing. Now they press for answer, so our guy's not gonna be attacking. Dual shot, not at its best right here. We could play Voldair and Duelist and just get in for three and go aggro. I guess it's it's wouldn't be that bad to... Uh, actually, we had a different option here. If I hadn't played my land and I had played a mountain, we could have skin invasion this thing and then fiery temper to kill it. And then we would have ended up, up with a 3-4, which would have been very good. Given that I already played my swamp and I saw that line later... I think we're just gonna go old Darren Duelist here, make this unable to block. Um, and if our opponent ever taps out, we still have that option available to us when we play that mountain. If not, we don't want to do it, because otherwise they can just return the Spectral Shepherd to their hand, and their skin invasion doesn't do anything, so... We also have a lot more power on the board than our opponent, so... Another Spectral Shepherd. Alright. So, we could try to Compulsion this and then they're gonna bounce it to return it. Then we could just, uh... A fiery Temper to kill this guy. And then we set them back pretty far behind. I think that's probably fine. I really don't like using a removal spell when they can just bounce it, so... And also I like that our Breakneck Rider is going to flip here if our opponent doesn't do anything. So maybe I'll just attack with both my creatures and not actually do anything. I might try to Fiery Temper one of those critters later. 2-2 Flyer is not really 
something I'm super worried about. Oh, they're exposing evil? This is gonna go better for us then. So, they killed our creature, but now we can skin invasion the shepherd and... Fiery temper this. All right, we have a three, four. I should have left red up. I'm gonna draw a card. There's also a merit there to do the tapped one and murderous compulsion it. That said, I like using fiery temper there because it uses our mana better for the following turns. Like it'll give us more mana to work with. So let's always yield here. All right. So we're getting close to that necropod. Actually, we just drew the land for the necropod. So let's attack with everybody. Hmm, now they, our guys get trampled too. Are they gonna just block and bounce? That's not gonna do anything because they have trample. Yeah, that's not gonna... that doesn't work the way our opponent wants it to work. Let's play more crit necropod and they go. Highest Evangel. Alright, that's not gonna be enough. Especially considering that this guy has menace, so our opponent kind of has to, uh... Oh, I guess our guy flips, which is fine. Um, but if we just dual- wait, it's just one red mana. <laughs> if we dual shot this and this, and then just attack with everybody, our opponent cannot win here. They are taking way too much damage. Okie dokie, that is round two. We are up 2-0 in the Shadows over Innistrad draft. We will be back shortly with round three.